Lesson 16.5c, Analyzing a Histogram. A histogram is a bar graph that shows the frequency of data with equal intervals. We've learned in the first two parts of this lesson, 16.5a and b, the bars of a histogram represent the frequencies of numeric data in order from least to greatest. And by grouping data in intervals, a histogram gives a picture of the distribution of a data set. Let's take a look at this histogram. It's titled Main Street Park Tree Ages in Years. And it's got 0 to 15, 16 to 30, 31 to 45, and 46 to 60. So those are the years. And the frequency shows how many trees fall into those intervals. So we can make some conclusions about the data from the shape of the distribution. It's taller here. They're higher bars. Most of the trees were planted 31 to 45 years ago, and either fewer trees were planted 46 years ago or longer, or they were removed. So it doesn't necessarily mean that fewer trees were planted. It could be that they planted a lot, but they were removed for some reason. From this histogram, we can make some conclusions. So this was the number of student pets, and this is 0 to 1 pet, 2 to 3 pets, 4 to 5 pets, 6 to 7 pets, and this is how many students fall into the category of these intervals. So 5 out of 12, that's almost half the students have 2 or 3. So there are 5 here, so that's 5 students, and we have 4 plus 5, that's 9, 10, 11, 12 students in all, and 5, that, 6 is half of 12, so it's almost half of the students have two or three pets. Having more than three is not common or typical of these students. So if you have more than three, the bars are short, so it's not very typical. The height of each bar tells us how many students have a number of pets in an interval. Now this histogram is about learned to ride a bicycle, and it's got the ages three or four years old, five or six years old, seven or eight years old, or nine or 10 years old. The frequency tells us how many people are in that interval. So we can see from the shape that most learned between five and eight years old. 11 out of 15 learned at these ages. We have three and five, that's eight people, eight kids, and six, that's 14 and one more is 15. And if we add the 5 and 6 together, that's 11. So that's 11 for these two bars out of 15 in all. So most learned between 5 and 8 years old. And more learned to ride a bicycle at 3 or 4 years old than at 9 or 10 years old. And we know most learned between 5 and 8 years old because those bars are the highest. We can total the frequencies of the height or length of the bars to know how many are in the data set. The shape of the graph shows most people from 18 to 49 are currently employed. And under 18, 0 to 17, and over 64, the 65 plus, they have the same number employed. There's about 48 people that were asked we have a 5, we have a 14, we have an 18, we have a 6, and another 5. We add them together, that's 48. So probably 48 random people were asked if they're currently employed. And this histogram was made from the data values. We don't have a next lesson. We're finished with 6th grade math. And like always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me for 7th grade math. Bye.